Hello, you're listening to Hugo Talks. Here we see universal basic income is being trialed again. Can you believe I was talking about this over two years ago in this video here? This was when I wasn't shadow banned. You see, I've got 82,000 views there. And that was around the time of the lockdown. They started trialing it. This is, of course, part of the big digital trap, the enslavement plan. And here we see it in the news today. Universal basic income of £1,600 a month to be trialed in two places in England. They say that this is a trial, but that's baloney. The decision about this has already been made. This is just a news story to put it out to the masses in order to condition them. And the majority, un unfortunately, I, I would imagine, are going to look at this and go, what, what? £1,600 a month for doing nout? Sign me up. I'll have some of that, mate. That's what they'll say, because they are not aware of how it will be introduced and what it will ultimately cost them. It says here, a universal basic income of £1,600 a month is to be trialed in England for the first time in a pilot program. 30 people will be paid a lump sum without conditions each month for two years and will be observed to understand the effects on their lives. It's, all, it's already been trialed in Wales and Northern Ireland two years ago. This story is just a conditioning advert. It says here, Will Strong, the director of research at the think tank Autonomy, which is back in the plan, said of the £1,600 figure, this is a substantial amount. Universal basic income usually covers people's basic needs, but we want to see what effects this unconditional lump sum has on people's mental and physical health, whether they choose to work or not. Now, if you look into the think tank autonomy, you will see that they are talking about the fourth industrial revolution and the CC climate change and sustainable futures and the same waffle you would hear from the United Nations or the World Economic Forum. He goes on to say in the article, our society is going to require some form of basic income in the coming years. Given the problems of climate change, tech, disruption and industrial transition that lies ahead, this is why building the evidence base and public engagement now is so important, so the ground is well prepared for national implementation. So it's very clear that this is being introduced as part of the CC agenda, which is tracking everything you use, your energy, your money, where you go, your transport usage. This is why you've got smart meters being put into all these people's homes. So what they are not telling you is that the universal basic income will come in the form of a CBDC. A CBDC will be digital money, invisible money. And this will be brought in as they phase out cash. Why do you think they manufacture world events to give them the excuse to increase prices? Why have they manufactured a cost of living crisis with increased energy prices and food so that people can't afford to pay their bills. They can't pay off their mortgages. This will continue. It's manufactured. It is manufactured because they want to introduce this as a remedy for the manufactured crisis. And the remedy will be a new currency, a CBDC. And that currency uh, will be digital, one that tracks your every purchase and every payment that you receive. A CBDC digital currency that can be programmed by the establishment, programmed so that they, the establishment, the Roman Empire, can control and dictate what you can buy and what you cannot buy. They will have the ability as well to switch your access to money off, just like that. This is all about enslavement. The Roman Empire had millions of slaves back in ancient Rome. Today, this is their new way of enslaving you. There's too many of you to do it physically, right? So the idea is when the CBDC is ready to launch, then I would imagine at some point they will also introduce the UBI to go along with it. I would imagine they will make it dependent on you accepting the new currency, the CBDC, in order to get your UBI payment. And if you accept payment through the CBDC, I mean, how much, how, how many of the public do you think will go along with it? 
to get this free money of £1,600 a month, whatever it is. The majority, I reckon, cash will then be phased out. Then once they have you by the short and curlies and the public are completely then dependent on the state, they will want you to swear allegiance to the state or the beast, if you will. This is where the mark of the beast will come in, as it says in the book of Revelation. And he calls if all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark, and that no man might buy or sell, unless he has that mark. It's very clear that a mark of the beast will be necessary if you want to continue to buy and sell, because without it, you won't be able to buy things or sell things. You cannot do any transactions. I mean, it's, it's difficult to see any other situation where this could be made possible other than this, than with a, a digital currency in a cashless world that can be programmed and switched off if you don't obey your new masters. The UBI, the Universal Basic Income, will be very tempting to many at first. It's the promise of free money, money for nothing, temptation, but it's a trap. Of course, this will then be made into a one world currency, enforced by a one world government, backed up by a one world religion. All of this is prophesied in the book of Revelation. And yet still, people <laughs> coming into the comments and saying, the Bible is a load of rubbish. Hugo, you've gone mad. Well, didn't they just start banning the Bible in the USA? in Utah? That will be my next video. That's in the prophecy as well. Persecution of the followers of Jesus. This is why they want to keep you away from the Bible and from the gospel of Jesus. They want you to be ignorant of it and have you following their man-made scripts as opposed to scripture. Because if the majority actually had a good understanding of what is prophesied in the Bible, then they could see quite clearly what now is unfolding and perhaps then wouldn't fall into the trap that is being so obviously laid out in front of them. I'll finish with this one. Then shall they deliver you to be afflicted and shall kill you and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake and then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another and many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. Thanks for listening and I'll see you later.